going to be joined by Spencer Tillman. And Spencer is the uh, co-host of uh, CBS's College Football Today. You may remember him from his time at the uh, University of Oklahoma. He is a Sooner, uh, a 1985 national champion, was a captain as they defeated Penn State in the Orange Bowl, was drafted in 1987 by the Houston Oilers, where he played for a couple of seasons, then went over to San Francisco and won a Super Bowl with them and finished his career here. You talk about in your book, um, Crucible Experiences, these transformational experiences that produce fundamental changes in the way we view uh, our life and our place in it mm-hmm. and a crucible moment you see someone pass or you hear it right your way and, and someone loses their life and it causes you to take inventory and then you in turn give your life to Christ maybe somebody's going through a crucible moment right now Spencer as they're listening and uh, they're identifying with your words how would you help them would you share that with them Yeah, real quickly, great uh, question in framing that up. I would say the crucibles, first of all, they don't necessarily have to be negative. We just have to mention a couple that are. Uh, Crucibles can be the birth of a child. Uh, It can be, you know, uh, maybe a marriage or something like that that literally causes you to see your circumstance and your place in that differently. And as a result, behavior uh, changes. You know, we, we have red zone experiences all the time, and I define red zone very simple. You know you're in a red zone when the need to achieve an objective is immediate. The obstacles between you and those objectives are formidable. The options available are limited, and time is running out. I mean, we all go there, right? In the context of a relationship with our wives, our spouses, we we deal with that all the time. But um, it's the crucible experience that will expose your core values in that. If we go through those tough times or positive times, those are red zones. What determines whether or not we score is what we do while we're in those crucible experiences. I think with Epictetus, the great Greek philosopher, said the crisis doesn't make the person, it merely exposes what's already there. Yeah. So what, what those things do, they, they, they are like a um, those porcelain vessels that, that they used in the early medieval times to kind of alchemists use them to try to create gold. And we could we know that metallurgically you, it's impossible. You can't do that. The crucible of life is, is like that bowl. When you put life in all of those circumstances, relationships, tragedy, that is the crucible. That is the cauldron in which our lives and God is shaping and molding us. And we have an opportunity to be shaped as a result of that. And if we re- emerge out of those red zones, uh, then we have experienced a crucible experience. The distinction being one changes the way you see your life and, it, and there's a definable difference between how you operate moving forward. If you just get beat up while you're in that red zone, you just had a red zone experience. We all right. go through those cer- circumstances and situations. So if you're in those spaces, I would just simply say, God is speaking to you. Yeah. You've been invited into a miracle and it's an opportunity. And that's what the crucible experience is. And when you're participating in it, the output of that is a true closer walking relationship with God. And that's, that's ultimately what we're all looking for in life.